Is this the most powerful humanoid robot in the world? As the industry debates whether human-like machines are too powerful for households, a rising Chinese startup claims its new flagship fake human has tripled the raw torque of its peers. Elsewhere in China, a humanoid from Shanghai just entered the Guinness World Records for its endurance, while Unitree's G1 sharpened its basketball skills. And a new robot challenging Unitree's viral humanoid learned to mimic Neo, the one from the Matrix. In Beijing, a new full-sized humanoid just burst onto the scene doing a full airborne backflip. It's the flagship humanoid from the rising startup Fibot. Calling it the most powerful humanoid yet, Fibot says it's ushering in a new superhuman era for humanoid robots. The startup was launched in September 2024 by Ren Xiaoyu and Mao Shuhan, former roommates studying mechanical engineering at Tsinghua University. Ren, who serves as CEO, previously worked on humanoid control algorithms at Ubitech Robotics in Shenzhen and Fourier in Shanghai. The co-founder has worked in investment banking. Fibot's strategy targets both industrial and service-oriented markets. The newly launched Fibot M1 is designed as a high-performance general-purpose humanoid for complex tasks in places like factories and warehouses. Though other fully electric humanoids like the Unitree H1 and Atlas by Boston Dynamics have demonstrated backflips, Fibot calls the M1s the most human-like. Judge for yourself and let me know in the comments. Standing 172 centimeters or 5 foot 7, the M1 humanoid weighs 60 kilos or 132 pounds and boasts a reported 32 degrees of freedom. According to Fibot, the M1 generates more than 10 kilowatts of instantaneous power, which is like giving a human-sized machine the strength of a small motorcycle for a split second. Its torque rating is reported as 530 newton meters, which is significantly higher than contemporary humanoids, like the fully electric Atlas by Boston Dynamics and Figures Industrial Robots that just finished an 11-month deployment at BMW Spartanburg. With a higher torque, the M1 could, in theory, outperform its peers and even some industrial robot arms in strength-based tasks. However, that assumes its balance and control systems, its sensors, and its build quality matches its contemporaries. Mobility, agility, and efficiency still depend on many other subsystems beyond torque. Its top running speed is reported as 10 kilometers, or just over 6 miles per hour. That's respectable for a bipedal robot, but lags behind humanoids known for speed from firms like Unitree, Robot Era, and the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center. Fibot says the robot's active cooling system equips it for continuous high-power tasks. Dual hot swappable batteries offer more than two hours of runtime, built with titanium and aluminum. The M1 features Fibot's proprietary Phi arc cycloidal drives that can reportedly withstand shock loads up to five times overload capacity. Its onboard artificial intelligence runs on a compact NVIDIA Jetson Orin computer, paired with an Intel Core i7 processor. The robot sensor suite includes 3D LiDAR, stereo cameras, and an inertial measurement unit for mapping its surroundings, understanding depth, and maintaining balance. Fibot says it's aiming for a price point below $42,000 to make the robot relatively affordable for research labs and companies. The price point is dramatically lower than comparable humanoids like Unitree's H1, which starts at around 90 grand. Fibot's smaller offering is called the C1, which is designed to look more approachable than the full-sized robot. The company calls it an embodied intelligent companion and offers it in eight colors. It weighs 28 kilos, or 62 pounds, and stands 128 centimeters, or 4 foot 2, which is about the same height as humanoids like Unitree's G1 and the PM1 by Engine AI. The C1 has 25 joints for movements that are smooth and expressive, but not as explosive as its bigger counterpart. It's designed for less physically demanding roles in service and education. With its multimodal sensing, the C1 recognizes faces, responds to voice commands, and even projects visual content in HD to nearby surfaces. Fibot is entering a crowding market with its compact humanoid. 
Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics continues to dominate the budget humanoid niche with its viral G1 robot, which is priced starting at $16,000. Research-grade configurations have become a default choice for elite labs like the Chang Karshan Robotics Institute at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, where engineers are training this robot to embarrass real-world basketball players. The humanoid in this footage was trained using a new AI system called Skill Mimic that teaches robots to dribble, pass, and make shots using human demonstrations. With data captured from videos and motion capture suits, the G1 learns inside a computer simulation, practicing thousands of variations until motions become stable. Once trained, that policy is transferred to the real robot, which controls its hands, times the ball's bounce, and adjusts its balance without remote input. In this clip, the humanoid attempts a layup that's blocked by lead student researcher Ying Hai Wang. Researchers are now aiming for tougher moves and freer play. Another compact humanoid carving out its lane is the Z1 by Wuxi based Magic Lab. In a new demo, the pint sized humanoid shows off its ability to dodge a flying arrow. Standing 140 centimeters or 4 feet 7 inches, the Z1's athletic abilities come from its 24 degrees of freedom and 130 newton meter torque joints. Like Unitree, Magic Lab's pricing varies widely. Consumer facing listings place the standard Z1 unit around $40,000, while enterprise configurations reach into the six figures. Meanwhile, in Shanghai, Ajibot's flagship just entered the Guinness World Records for the longest journey ever walked by a humanoid robot. The distinction puts the robot, called the A2, in a short list of record holders like Toyota's Q6 with the farthest basketball shot, Pepper by SoftBank as the first mass-produced service humanoid, and I, Sobo, the world's smallest humanoid. The Ajibot humanoid began the four-day expedition at Jinji Lake in Suzhou and ended in Shanghai's Bun waterfront. The total distance was 106 kilometers, or 65 miles. The route spanned highways, sidewalks, bridges, and tactile paving through day and night. Ajibot says it used a mass-produced unit rather than a custom prototype. It relied on a hot, swappable battery system to continue walking without powering down during exchanges. According to Ajibot, the humanoid's dual GPS modules, LiDAR, and infrared depth sensors helped it move across the very terrain with no recorded falls. The A2 humanoid's pricing starts around 27 grand. Meanwhile in the US, a new wave of next-gen robots designed specifically for homes is emerging. For more on that, check the related video.